In vertical aviation, we all understand that safety is paramount. Yet there's an unforgiving killer lurking in the skies, space disorientation. This unforgiving threat can strike at any time from our most junior pilots to our most experienced pilots. Spatial disorientation, or SD, occurs when a pilot senses send conflicting signals to the brain, causing a dangerous loss of situational awareness. Imagine the aircraft being in a descending turn, but your brain feels like you're straight and level. This is the peril of SD. The inner ear plays a crucial role in balance and spatial orientation. However, in flight, these signals are unreliable. This is especially true in low visibility and low contrast environments. The unreliable nature of our vestibular system leads to potentially fatal mistakes. Training and awareness are our best defenses against SD. Pilots must understand and believe their instruments over their instincts, but this requires training. Simulation allows pilots to experience and understand SD in a controlled environment, preparing them for the unexpected. Simulation can include traditional motion or non-motion simulators, virtual reality, designed SD simulators, or an in-aircraft visibility simulation system. The most realistic and effective vestibular training occurs in an actual aircraft because the aircraft movement produces the sustained motion required for vestibular illusions to develop. This, combined with visibility simulation systems, which can artificially introduce various realistic conditions conducive to visual illusions, allows for the most effective training for SD. But it's not just about one-time training. Continuous education and real-world experience are essential. Pilots should regularly review and practice procedures for recognizing and combating SD. Remember, safety in the sky starts with knowledge on the ground. Through understanding, preparation, and training for spaceless orientation, we can make safer flights for everyone. <laughs>